Hello! Today I am going to show you how to drastically speed your DayZ. So, the first thing that I am going to do is Hold on guys, hold on, this is exciting. I need to write it down as I'm speaking. Oh launch options. So that's the first thing you need to get in your head. Because a lot of people are saying that launch options do not help them, but this is where you are mistaking. Because there is one 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 important important uh, launch options everybody is missing on and I'm going to show you what that is so here's Daisy launcher parameters and I'll basically just copy and paste it here so you can see Opa. okay Opa. hold on hold on hold on Opa. Opa. So, these are the launch options that you want to use. And the most important one is Windows XP, which is Win XP, and use all av available cores. That's the most important thing you want to uh, get there. Also, uh, I've, not I've noticed if you use this command CPU count and X threads, you can basically put like any number here as long as it's a high number it's gonna work so you can put like 80 it's gonna work i've tested it you can test it yourself so this windows xp command and the other ones th this is guaranteed 40 fps at least in my case it boosted me for 40 fps and i am using a shitty gpu which is r uh, r9 200x something like this xfx uh, 3 gigabytes <laughs> bit so this is my graphics card and my CPU is FX 8 core so this is my CPU and I'm getting in uh, electro hold on electro stable uh, pff, how much F60 FPS in electro when there's 100 plus players in the map so bear that in mind. This 3 gigabyte card, 50, 60 FPS in Electro. Also, so basically the first one is launch options, which is gonna get you anywhere from 10 to 40 FPS. In my case, 30 to 40 FPS. So the second thing uh, that's gonna boost your game FPS is the actual in-game settings. So actual in-game settings. But this is uh, not so drastic, you can uh, turn your shadows, so shadows to low, um, object detail and st uh, to low or poor. Even though your gaming experience is going to be shit, when if you put your object detail to low, it's going to be shit, realistically speaking. So, the third one, uh, which is the m also a big, 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 big one, so you know how many, uh, how uh, a lot of people are upgrading their HDD, which is hard disk drive, to SSD to make their game faster? No, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's not gonna work. Your PC is gonna be faster. Your games are going to load, load faster, but in terms of FPS, it's not gonna be much difference. So what, what are you going to upgrade if? If you don't have the money to upgrade your graf graphics card or CPU, the obvious answer is your RAM memory. So basically your CPU is using your RAM memory, same as GPU, which is using the, uh, the graphics RAM, so which is the, which is the v VRAM, as we call it, the video RAM. Uh, so basically if you have anywhere from 4 to 8 gigs of RAM, it's not going it's oops not i don't know why i'm writing but whatever it's not going to be enough trust me it's going to stutter stutter it's going to stutter a lot <sighs> so if you want your game to run smooth even 
even on a shitty GPU, uh, you need to upgrade your RAM to at least 16 gigs of RAM. Six, uh, because uh, usually I've noticed from my experience, Daisy is using 7 to 8 gigabytes of RAM. And if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, it's, it's not sufficient. You can't even run Discord. Discord, TeamSpeak is going to lag the shit out of your game if you have 8 gigs of RAM. Plus, the stutter, stutter uh, you notice the stutter when you're entering a map, when you're entering a, a new place. For example, if I'm going from uh, a forest to Electro and I'm entering the town, it's starting to lag all across. It's starting to freeze my image. Or, do you have that annoying, uh, what well, like aiming, uh, when you try to aim through your sights on your gun, your game is lagging like shit. So basically, uh, this is going to fix it. The, you're upgrading your RAM is going to fix this issue. Trust me, because you cannot run DZ. And let me emphasize this. Hold on. You cannot run Daisy smoothly on 8 gigs of RAM. This is important. So, that concludes this uh, tutorial. So, basically, launch options, in game options, and 16 gigs of RAM. You don't have to upgrade your graphics card. If it's at least 3 gigabytes, like mine, you don't have to upgrade it. If you have a good CPU, or not the best CPU, but medium uh, CPUs are good at the game. Like only you need to have enough RAM memory, uh, good graphical uh, options in game, and these launch options. This is going to help you for sure. So, um, <coughs> thank you for watching, guys. And please, this is a big reminder. Most of you are not subscribing. Please subscribe, because I'm trying to reach 1,000 subs so I can earn some cash to to spend basically honestly thank you um whatever I, you don't need to sub but i would appreciate it okay okay goodbye thank you for watching